When we talk about veterinarians, our pet health care quickly comes to mind. But veterinarians are responsible for other animals too, especially those without collars. These health workers are at the forefront of wildlife conservation, together with rangers, volunteers, and other life scientists. One such veterinarian is Dr. Cliff Redford from the Wellington Veterinary Hospital in Ontario, Canada. His passion for animals stretches beyond his domestic patients as he regularly volunteers with local and international organizations that protect wildlife. In his YouTube channel, Dr. Cliff shared his encounter with one of the most dangerous and majestic raptors known to man, the bald eagle. The bird was in a plastic crate and wrapped in towels when it came in. It was accidentally shot by duck hunters and fell from the sky. Instead of leaving the bird to its fate, the hunters quickly inspected the eagle and contacted authorities. And good thing they did, because when Dr. Cliff checked the eagle, it certainly wouldn't survive if left behind. The eagle sustained a severe and dangerous fracture, which worsened when it crashed to the ground. Its humerus, the wing bone, was broken cleanly in two parts. Dr. Cliff was optimistic about the bones, though, and was much more concerned about the eagle's wing muscles. Even if the bone heals, if the muscle fails to do so, the eagle wouldn't be able to fly ever again. But Dr. Cliff and his team were determined to save the bird, even if it was their first time to treat such an animal. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. He was the eagle's only hope, and he made sure they'll do everything they can to help her get back on her wings. After hours of surgery, the eagle, now named Wolf because of her feisty temperament, was left to recover. Dr. Cliff even noted that Wolf did well with the anesthesia. She woke up, maybe a bit groggy, but was fully aware and conscious. It was a long road to get back to the skies, though. Wolf was sent to the rehabilitation facility for six weeks. They did all they could from their end, but recovery will depend entirely on Wolf. One challenge they faced was her anxiety and restlessness in being in a cage. She was used to the life of the open skies, but with her injury, she was forced to hop around an enclosure. Wolf was also regularly monitored and was even given massages to help her muscles recover. They did test flights to see how she progressed, but in the earlier weeks, her flight didn't even take off more than a half a foot over the ground. Everyone, including Wolf, didn't give up though. Progress is progress, no matter how small. Eventually, the eagle was flying from one perch to another. Flight times got longer and distances went farther. Soon enough, Dr. Cliff received a call. He drove all the way to the frozen Niagara River to witness Wolf's release to the wild. It was a cold, wintry day, but everyone's hearts were warm with hope. To make sure that everything was set and well, Dr. Cliff gave Wolf a final examination. Right when his checklist ended, Wolf gave the doctor a well-deserved peck, maybe a way of cheekily saying thank you and goodbye. Then they left Wolf in the middle of the open whiteness. They all held their breath when Wolf finally took off. She didn't get so far at first. She seemed to check if the blue horizon was finally reachable. Finally, with big flaps and a new lease on life, Wolf flew out to the great blue yonder. Dr. Cliff shared that he'll never forget Wolf, but we have a feeling that she wouldn't forget him as well. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.